Let me tell you a story. This is a Christmas story about a quaint village where Santa often visits. That place, Santa's home away from home, is not too far from where you live. Of all the places Santa visits, this is where he spends his summers. At Santa's Hideaway Hollow, Santa brings Christmas to those who cannot celebrate it in December. In a long line of children, a little boy came in the side door and ran across the room, jumped in my lap. Well, this little guy changed my life. He was six years old, his name was Joey. Took off his stocking cap. He had a scar from the top of his head, totally bald, down the side of his head into his throat. I asked him what he wanted for Christmas. He said, Santa, you know I'm dying. Just make my mommy happy. Talked to his mom later because I found her crying with big tears of joy and very happy while she's crying. And I guess the best description is tears of joy. This was going to be their last Christmas. Joey's heart that day changed Santa's life. From an ordinary businessman to the bringer of gifts, St. Nicholas. And I bought 93 acres and I have built the North Pole. Because the children asked for the reindeer, now I have eight reindeer. We have a bakery, we make our own chocolate chip cookies. Why? It's my favorite cookie. We have ice cream because that goes with the cookies. We have a tailor shop who makes my outfits. We have a bank and a post office right behind me. We don't deal in money, we deal in wishes. That's not all there is in this village. The North Pool has its own country club, fishing shop, and town hall. A workshop and a teepee with visitors' handprints. We have about 46 volunteers here a day when we have the children here. Now our crowd's going to range anywhere from 200 to 1,000. So a number of people. Can't do it alone. Never said we could. It's elves. My favorite part of doing any kind of events with Santa, whether it be going to a hospital to visit kids or going to a kid's house or just any events at Santa's Hideaway Hollow, are the reaction on the kids' faces and the siblings and the parents. It's just really nice to see everybody happy together at the same time. You see children that sometimes the illness just strikes you in the face. You can see the tumor, you can see the surgery, the bald head, the scars, the lost limbs. It's hard. Although the buildings hold festive cheer, the trees outside that were planted here, by those who could not celebrate this year, by those who held the most festive cheer. There's 463 trees on the property. If you look around, you see Christmas trees everywhere and more to come. These are trees planted by families who have been here whose children have died and they wanted to come back and leave something. In order for Santa to keep this running, he relies on the support of those with funding. There are two ways to help Santa keep Christmas joyful. With the volunteers who bring Christmas cheer in order to keep the village full of hope. For those who are unable to donate their time, they can donate to help build the town that Santa started many winters ago. And for the children eager for a festive visit, Santa can receive letters from all who need some Christmas cheer. This video to me is important because you're gonna be reaching families who may not know we're here, who may have a child that goes to Rainbow, Akron, Metro, any of them, and can use a day away. Those are the families I wanna hear from. The emotional toe is not on me. I'm the guy that wears the red suit. I'm the happy guy. I give memories and wishes, the emotion, is on the families. Remember what Joey said? Make my mommy happy. That's all that mattered to him. That's what I do. I make moms happy. And that's what Santa does to this day, bringing joy to those lives in dismay. For kids in hospitals all around, from his heart, he runs this festive town.